Hello and welcome to exam mini video four on DNA transcription in prokaryotes. There are three stages to transcription, initiation, elongation, and termination. Initiation is started in the uncoiled section of the DNA read left to right. RNA is read three prime to five prime, Next, the template strand is the strand that becomes the template for RNA and is also read three prime to five prime. The coding strand is the strand that has a base sequence corresponding to the RNA that is being synthesized. The coding strand is read five prime to three prime. Next, we have the promoter region. This consists of the negative 10 Tata box, the negative 35 region, and the plus one nucleotide. At the plus one nucleotide is where RNA is first transcribed. The Tata box has a sequence of only adenine and thymine, and the negative 35 region is known as the control region. Then RNA polymerase core enzyme comes in and binds with a sigma factor to form RNA polymerase holoenzyme. This enzyme knows to bind to a certain consensus sequence on the promoter region. The next step is elongation. The RNA polymerase binds and starts adding RNTPs at the three prime end of the RNA. Eventually the sigma factor dissociates and RNA transcribes only using the core enzyme. The last step is termination. This occurs when there are inverted repeats that lead to termination hairpins. This is followed by a long strain of adenine and uracil base pairs that are weak. This strain is then broken, terminating transcription. But what would happen if there was a five base pair insertion between the negative 35 region and the negative 10 box of a gene that codes for phenylalanine? This changes the promoter region of the gene, thus changing the binding sites for transcription. When this happens, the gene cannot be properly transcribed, which means there will not be any phenylalanine properly made in the body. So this amino acid will not be present in the body. Thank you for watching and here are my references.